Good morning guys, I just woke up, I'm waiting for my coffee to finish and I need to get my workspace cleaned up before we get started today because I just got everything from last week laying everywhere. But real quick, I'm going to move a few things that are going to spoil some projects. Um, I think I'll leave a few spoilers but like heads and stuff that are for like full on videos I'm going to move so you don't see them. My hair won't stay up. I just shaved my sides so it kind of is doing this weird thing where it either clings or it just kind of just off to the side but yeah last week wasn't too bad I got a lot of work done it was actually my birthday last week so I actually have a lot of like junk food and stuff around the house so I'm really sluggish because I've just been eating horribly lately like I've got cheesecake I've got uh, cupcakes I've got candy everywhere um, that's just the desserts the food I've been eating because we actually got groceries of not been the greatest. I honestly need to stop eating really bad. So I think today we're gonna uh, make some healthy food too. Yeah, I'm at that weird age where uh, people mainly give you food as gifts. <laughs> I'm not gonna complain, it's nice. I still haven't started on the legs for the axolotl dragons other than the wire frames. Um, these are the patterns. I don't know what I'm starting yet, so I think I'm just gonna get everything completely off my desk. I also hung the painting up from the time lapse that we did yesterday. I'm really happy with it. I love that frame. It was a nightmare to hang up though because it's a really heavy frame, so I had to find a stud. I'm not saying there's uh, extra holes behind that frame, but I'm not not saying it either. Here's another project that I keep putting off. My overalls, my little sushi ones. I want to make those, but I think I'm kind of stuck on how to actually overall them. <laughs> Mm, coffee's done. Okay, now I can start waking up. Not sure why I've got a cup here. Oh yeah, I was using it to hold something. And then we got these little weird arm things. These are actually going to be for the mermaid. I know I mentioned it a long time ago and I kind of like postponed it, but I'm starting it up again and I'm gonna get it done. And I actually got the head done for it. That is one of the things that I am not showing you today because it's really cool and I don't want to spoil it because it basically shows the whole like style of the mermaid. Well, this one decided to get okay, stuck. Come on. Let me have it. Ow! Not that much. Foam is really nice for this, but it is messy and sometimes it does that doesn't want to let go. What would work best for something to set my resin pieces in when they're curing is like a giant chunk of like silicone with like little tiny like cuts in it so you can like just stick these in the cuts and then the silicone wouldn't stick to the resin you just slide them right out but good luck trying to find a giant chunk of silicone other than making it yourself and that's expensive. But yeah these are our little arms for it. I might like add some like weird scaling and stuff to it. It's just kind of slightly textured and of course painted with some highlights, but these will definitely change a little bit. Yeah, I'm debating on if I want to sew or cut fabric. I know I need to work on more clay pieces like the legs for the axolotls and stuff like that, but my hands are actually kind of sore, so I think I might skip on clay for a day. I think I'm gonna get some fabric cut out for our tadpoles. I made the pattern last week and I just haven't gotten to it. So I'm gonna get these cut out. I think I wanna do like three of them to start. That way like I don't make too, too many of them. But enough to where, since they're such a small project, they keep me occupied and they get to know if I want to make uh, like multiples of them. Because I won't know if it's easy to make like a ton of these if I don't try to make like multiples of them. I think this green will work. That and then I've got my kind of like sheer little fabric for the like fluffy bits. I think later today I'm going to sit down and try and get some things ordered for some projects. I've been putting it off because of all the things going on and it will probably be hard to get it ordered anyways but I need to at least try. One of them is I want to finally get the hermit crabs set up because they're done molting but I don't have any like mulch or sand or anything for their new aquarium. So I want to get that ordered. 
because I don't want to send Michael to all these stores to pick things up for me. He will do it, and I love him for it, but I don't want to send him to all these random stores um, and put him at risk. If it's a store that he's going to go to because of work-related stuff, I'm okay with that because he's going to be there anyways, and he's perfectly fine with it, but I need to not like send him to random places like pet stores or something like that. Or Lowe's, for instance. Those areas are really like busy for some reason right now, so I'm trying to keep that in mind. So it's just going to be easier and safer to order it online. So I'm going to look for that. And then um, one project that really isn't like crafting or anything, it's just like um, for the channel, is I want to make my art area where we normally film. I'm kind of I'm kind of tired of the whole chair arrangement. I think it's cute and everything, but it's very limiting and it takes up a lot of space in the bedroom. And I want to have that space for taking better photos of my creatures. So that's also leading to another project, but we'll get to that in a second. <laughs> But for that project of being able to film in here, um, you'll notice the lighting is nice because of these two lights, but if I want to set it up where like that's the background and stuff, there's always like a shadow on this side of my face because there's no good light competing with the other good lights. So I need to get one extra light over here, box myself into this area with tripods and yeah. But yeah, I want to get another light so I can have it kind of there behind the camera. It'll kind of balance everything out. And then I won't be so self-conscious about filming uh, full-on tutorials in here. I think I've done a few, but I still don't like that half my face is shadowed. Um, but I can't get one of these big lights because it's just so hard to move around. That's kind of why I want to get a third one because I could, in theory, just move these around all over the place, but they're so large and where I have them is set perfectly for filming here. Everything is so well lit right here that I don't want to bother moving them and risk possibly even breaking one of them. But yeah, I want to get a cheap little ring light that can be moved around, and if they're super cheap but still okay, I might get two so we can uh, have an extra one. But I know ring lights usually aren't too cheap, plus I'll need to get one that has a tripod. So we'll see what we can find there. And then part of that project is also like decorating back here, like how I hung my painting. I want to make it look a little cuter back here, instead of just like, here's my light, here's my painting that I just recently hung up, and here's all my junk in the window. I think I want to decorate the window. Um, I have a bunch of succulents that I recently got. I've got like three of them. So I'm thinking the curtains from the bedroom where the chair is, like the purple ones, we're going to hang in here. And then I'm going to take all this stuff I have out of this one window and move it. But that's going to be the hard part is figuring out where to move it. Okay, I got the tadpoles cut out. The next thing that I'm going to do is I need to find all my kind of goldish fabric because I have an idea for a project. This is actually going to be another Arteza collaboration. I really am not going to do a product review because it's going to be kind of focusing around their metallic acrylics. Um, I've used them in other videos, but I haven't really showcased them, so we figured it'd be a good idea for a video. So I want to do something that's like solid gold or at least on that like color spectrum. Now I haven't decided if I want to do a dragon this way because I've been kind of thinking of aiming for another raptor piece and I think that would be really cool. But also I'm going to be doing another raptor later on when my patterns are ready. Um, that's a completely different story, but basically when I come out with patterns, I'm going to be making videos for each pattern, showing how to use them, and making a whole on new creature with the pattern. So if I do a raptor now for the Arteza collaboration, I need to have the next raptor completely styled differently. So I'm not sure how to go about that. So if I can't figure out how to style both of them, I might just go with a dragon. I do have a ton of different things that are gold. I mean, I have the more, like, easier to work with kind of sequence. There's not a lot of this, though. So I have this, which isn't technically gold. It's kind of more of a, uh, what would it be? Kind of like a metallic khaki color or almost cream, but it's close enough. <laughs> so I got that. I have this fabric, which I've used quite a bit recently. 
Um, I could do that for the main body, but being that it's a fake leather, it's a little hard to bend around. So it might be for maybe the main body, but the legs are done differently. And then I have that two-tone uh, gold one, but it's such a more like warm gold than the others. I'm not sure about using them together. See what I mean? It is really like warm toned and everything else is a lot more cooler toned. So like if I used it, I might have to like, like color correct them a little bit, do a little bit of painting on them, which is fine. It's more showing off the paint. So that would probably be okay. You want to go on the balcony puppers? You want to go on the balcony? I need to get the dirt that's out there. Be good out here. Let's see, should be in here. Oh yeah, I still have plenty. And then there's a few small pots back there that we'll use. It kind of looks like it's gonna rain. We might have to hurry on our walk, Axel. There's a squirrel. I see the squirrel. <laughs> yeah, just a squirrel. You see him, don't you? Just finished walking Axel. It actually didn't rain on us. The clouds cleared up, so that was awesome. I really thought we were gonna get rained on. And I'm gonna make some yogurt. Or serve myself some yogurt. And then I think I'll have a few of these little cuties over here. And then since I don't want to mess up a plate, I'm just going to use paper towel. Maybe like three of them. That looks pretty good. Okay, I grabbed all the plants. I've got the pots. I know that the um, wording that used to be on here just won't all wash off, so they're kind of messy, but we can just look at it from this point of view. <laughs> so these are all the plants that I currently have right now that are kind of indoor. We have Cornelius, and he's not gonna get repotted yet because I need to get a bigger one for him, and eventually he'll get moved outside. But I have three little succulents. This one is from my mom. I don't know what type it is. It just looks like green beans to me. So I might call it bean. <laughs> and then just because I was bored and my garlic was going bad, I thought I'd try like growing it. So I've got like four little cloves. I put them in here and I added water and they just immediately rooted up and they grew. Like I did this two days ago and they didn't have any of this, but they want to grow. So we're going to plant them. So I think we're going to start with these guys and they're going to get their own pots because I think they're going to outgrow each other quite fast. I don't know how fast these grow, but this one is dropping leaves and growing little babies all over the place down here. So this one will probably grow a lot. Not sure about this one, but might as well give it its own pot. Which ones are going to go in the window? I know that one will. So what colors would look good? Should I do like one dark and one green? Just have kind of like a plethora of colors, or should I do both of the green with it? Maybe we'll do one of each. I kind of like the idea of one of the darker ones. I think what we're going to do is we're going to cut this bag, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to use all this dirt. I may not even have enough to do the garlic. But I'm going to cut this bag so it's less of a pain to grab the dirt out of. So much easier. I think I can just scoop it. And yeah, garlic might have to wait until I can get more dirt. So what I'm thinking is these are very fragile. I don't want to pull them out of the pot. I think I might cut the pot away from it because it's just one of those thin plastic ones. So just to be safe, I don't know if I can plop it out. I'm going to cut it. I gardened in so long. 
I miss it. I used to have like plants all over the balcony, like um, honestly too much, but it just gets so hot out here. It's so hard to like take care of them. I want to make a mess no matter what, so I'm not going to try and stop myself. I think I'm going to take the little like babies that are like kind of laying around and move them around the pot. Okay, I got that one. I kind of sprayed them. I didn't spray all of the soil, so it's not soaking wet. It's just the top that's wet. This one I am kind of concerned with because it looks like it might have a little bit of rotting. So I need to Google that and see how to help it. Again, the soil itself isn't that wet, so maybe it just needs to be in the sun a bit more. Could be root rot. I'm not 100% sure. This one looks fine. A few of the things got bent, but this one looks like it'll survive very well. I'm pretty confident in this one, especially if it's already having little babies. But I'm kind of concerned about this little guy. And then my garlic girls, they're just going to have to wait for more dirt to come in. Okay, since we have all of them potted, now we need to figure out who's going in the window and how they're going in the window. Also, where is all that going as well? I kind of want to get the sewing machine off the counter. It'd be so nice. So nice. <laughs> Ugh, the puns. Okay, um, I think I want to get the sewing machine up here, but then I gotta figure out where this is gonna go. Because I think the sewing machine can go up here and this can go in front of the sewing machine. Because I don't use the sewing machine too, too much, so it can be behind something for now. But again, I need to figure out where are these going. These will need something to lean on so they don't fall over. So I think I'll move my paints over there and then sewing machine and that over there. Also, I have a random poster up here I have yet to like frame. That's why I need something there. <laughs> Stay. Stay. Also, there's a ton of sequins up here. I wonder why. Straight up there. Ugh. Need more tin foil. I wonder why I kept this. Okay, that's not going to work because it hangs over too much. Okay, so the light's going to be a bit of an issue, so we'll figure something out. But also, again, I am going to get a curtain, so that should adjust it a bit. But, um, yeah, it doesn't look that bad. I decided to put the sewing machine up here and move my little gem thing down here. I think it looks better and it takes up a little bit less room because it's, like, more in the corner. Um, the thing that was in the window is up here as well, and then the fabric that I had up here I just put in the fabric closet because I had nowhere else to put it. I wonder if I turn this light off that this would be enough. Let's see. Oh, there it is. That. I'll let the camera kind of correct. It doesn't look bad. Once there's another light there it might look better, but it's still kind of dark. Back on. Yeah, everything back here looks good, but I'm not lit. <laughs> but yeah, if only my area just wasn't so like confining, because it's really hard to figure out where to put all these tripods. So, gotta kind of step over things, and I'm not the like most graceful thing there is, so I trip over them all the time. But yeah, I think these look good. For now, I think they'll look good. And again, we'll have like a purple curtain kind of like running down this side. I'll probably pin it off to this side and try and block most of this extra light. That way we can still see the plants. I want to still see the plants. What if, hmm, what if we pulled these forward and we let the curtain go behind them and then we would just kind of like pull this open. Where's the thing? Is this the thing? Um, where's the other thing? Hold on. Yeah, what if we did this, have it behind that, and then if the thing isn't working for filming, I can close it. Oop, I closed it the wrong way. Eh. I 
that. So like you can still see the plants and I can always open the window for them when we're not filming. So you'd still see the plants and it would still look nice and it wouldn't be where they wouldn't get light. It would just be like, hey, you guys are going to have to not look at the sun right now because then I can control it better instead of having like part of the window open. Since I'm already over here, I'm just going to bring the computer over here. So right now I'm working on a pattern that would be kind of labeled as a fox pattern, but it should work for wolves and then anything with a very similar body style. And while I was working on this, I realized the way I've been doing the other patterns, I might have to go and make changes, which is going to be a pain because I've already gotten three done, or almost three other ones done. This would be my fourth one. And the reason I'm saying that is I made them just really too complicated and I'm trying to figure out how to do the instructions with it because I want to have written instructions and then I want to have a video to go with the patterns. That way if you have any trouble, I'm going to show you how to do it physically because I learn better from like watching people than like reading instructions sometimes and I know other people are a little different so I figured if I had both a reading instruction and a visual instruction it would be best. Also because of that I'm going to change how we're going to be releasing them instead of having my set six or whatever that I wanted to release I'm going to be releasing them one at a time with the videos that I'm going to be making so I think that might be best. Again I need to figure out how to label everything so I took all the labels off because I found that I was labeling them weird and they weren't like working with the other pieces. So say for instance, um, I labeled the tail in a way where it had a crease going down the middle because the tail is not going to have a left and a right piece that you sew together. You're going to bend it and sew down the side and then kind of flip it. So I had a crease, but I used that same line to uh, show you where to cut something. So I can't have a line representing a cut and a bend at the same time. And also there's no reason to have a line representing a bend on the pattern because you're not going to be bending the pattern, you're going to be folding your fabric. So I'm going to sit down and figure out how to write the instructions for this and then add the labeling to it so it's all kind of cohesive and works well together. The drawing them out thing, I figured that out, it's not that bad. I did all of this in like like two hours or something, but the instructions are going to be a bit tricky. So I think I'm going to spend the rest of the workday working on these patterns. I think I have like two or three hours that I can do that with before I need to start on dinner and stuff. So I had a lot of fun with the plants. I'm really glad this back area is kind of slowly working out. So um, I think Michael said he could pick me up a curtain rod so I can hang the curtains back here and we'll figure that out next. So you might see the curtains or if you can't find a curtain rod, we'll wait on that. But yeah, I think that is it for today other than me doing all of this boring stuff off camera. I really enjoyed today. We didn't get really a lot of work work done, but we did kind of get some major things done that I've been putting off for quite a while. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.